Chapter 2 Puppet Show Tradition 1.1 Introduction India has its own traditions relating to cultural life of its people. The cultural life of the people of India finds its roots in Indian mythology. Different media have helped to spread the Indian mythology all through the length and breadth of the country. Movement of people from one place to other for various reasons such as for livelihood, tourist purposes, and pilgrimage contributed to certain influences. Indian mythology has also moved around the world through the media in the shape of cultural forms. Media provided a variety of entertainment to people while spreading the mythology, though the art forms such as singing, dancing, and dramatics. Music, dance and drama are divided further into subgroups. Where the drama when seen in subgroups include classical drama, folk drama, social plays, community plays, Kula Bhagavatams, scroll narratives, puppet show performances etc. Puppet show performance has been one important format which helped to spread the messages from the Indian mythology. Therefore, puppetry has a historical importance with this backdrop. The present chapter discusses the historical background in detail about the puppet show performances and its existence in India, puppeteers of Andhra Pradesh, traditional and social life of puppeteers, traditional methods and contexts, puppets of the performance, other related issues, and previous scholarship about the puppet shows. Page 82. 2.1 Background It's Story of Puppet Show. Majority of the scholars agreed that the birthplace of the puppets has been India. However, some believe that the puppetry began in China. The evidence discovered from Sita Benga cave of 2nd century BC of Madhya Pradesh supports that the puppetry has been of LDI in origin. Thaveli and Girnaru inscri inscriptions of Ashoka also outline that the puppet tradition was used to propagate the Dharma along with entertainment and knowledge. Four types of puppet traditions are recorded from the studies so far conducted. They are, 1. Marionettes of string puppets, 2. Glove puppets, 3. Rod puppets and 4. Leather puppets are discussed by M. V. Romana Muthi, and these studies are noteworthy in this regard. The author of the Karmataka puppetry discussed about the classification of puppets. There are seven types of puppets according to him. Point four. 1. String puppets. See photo number 68, 72, 73, 74. 2. Leather puppets. Small size. 3. Leather puppets. Life size. See photo number 126, 127, 128, 129, 133, 134, 138. 4. Finger glove puppets. See photo number 69. 5. Rod puppets. See photo number 76, 78, 81. 6. Joint Puppets. See photo number 67. Page 83. 7. Kithli Bhavani Kel. Puppet made out of thin bark and paper. He also discussed the slight differences in between them. Anyway the above seven can be brought under the four types of puppets. There is a description about the joint puppets in Katha Sarit Sagaram 5. There are an evidences of jointed puppets at Mysore University Museum 6. It existed up to 20th century in Karnataka. Palkariki Somanata mentioned the puppet show in his Panditaradya Karitra clearly. 
He has described in one of his poems about the Koya Bomalu. Baratadi Kathala Chira Marugula. Naranga Bomala Nadinchu Varu. Kad Kadanad Butambuga Kamba Sutrambu. Ladaranga Bomala Nadinchu Varu. Chitra Mamgula. Bomala Nardinku represents the performance of Leather Puppet Show. This was mentioned in that book for the Shivaratri festival occasion at Srizalem. Palkariki Somanada mentioned about the joint puppets in his another book Baseva Paranam. Performances done with string puppets are reported from the states of Kerala, Komataka, and Rajasthan. It is told that the joint puppets are in existence in China. The leather puppets are very similar to the shadow plays of Western countries. One relevant point was mentioned in the Kamataka puppetry about the statement of Dr. Jaitas. Paramasavaya. Joint puppets were performed in a small tent, the light sources used was Petromax and the stage technique was entirely different. The puppets were played from under the stage. The artists hidden below the stage held. Page 84. The puppets in their hands and raised them so as to be seen by the spectator within the exposed part of the stage and manipulated the puppets with the help of small rods and strings. The puppets had movable joints the joints being fixed within a hollow tube, iron, could be moved with the help of the thin rods inserted. The manipulators were unseen by the audience. The movable joints were responsible for the nomenclature Kilu Gombeata, Canada, for this kind of puppetry. This has resemblance to the technique adopted in the glove puppets. Such puppet shows have always been performed for spectators who could get in by purchasing tickets. The tales were of social content or fairy tales. The main characters were secular, like kings, queens, washermen, policemen, female dancers, acrobats or charmers and clowns. The accompanying instruments were harmonium, cymbals, and madella, percussion. Eight according to the above there are many relevances in that joint puppets when compared with the present-day leather puppet show performances. At the outset the stage may be different. But the lighting system is equivalent to the present leather puppet shows. Instruments used in the performance are the same. Likewise the story may be different, but the poems, verbal forms, the method of conversations, dialogue delivery, musical systems are the same as in leather puppet show performances. Dramatization of dialogues can be guessed as equal to the puppet shows as well as yakshganams. 2. The Puppet Shows in India Though the puppet shows can be observed throughout the world, many scholars came to a conclusion that the origin was in Asia. Puppet shows traveled to the countries of Cambodia, Burma, Lavas, Siam, Africa, Greece, Rome, Bejandine Empire, Turkey, Egypt from India 9. Page 85 Puppet Puppet show tradition traveled from India to the islands like Sumitra, Java, Bali along with the religion, business, and Hindu culture and arts. Now the puppets in circulation in those islands are called as Wayang. Many a variety of Wayangs are there in existence. Among the so many Wayangs, Wayang Wong is very similar to our Vidi Natakam. Wayang Lytic is similar to our string, rod, puppets. Wayang Topeng is similar to our Butterbomalata. The leather puppet performances in Java, Bali Islands are very similar to our leather puppet show performances. 
There cannot be seen any differences in these puppet show performances in the shape of puppets in the story procedure, in the performance, in the songs, in Deruvus etc. But it can be observed that there are two types of leather puppet shows in Java and Bali viz. 1. Wayang Gadak and 2. Wayang Puva. Mythological plays can be seen in the Wayang Puva and historical plays can be seen in Wayang Gadak. There is no difference in the performances except in the stories 10. In India the string puppets of Rajasthan, the rod puppets of Western India, the glove puppets of Bengal and the leather puppets of South India are famous. Shadow leather puppets can be traced in Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Orissa, and Maharashtra. Nowadays the leather puppets and rod puppets of India can be seen in the export market. Cooperative societies are formed to sustain the puppet tradition and to export the puppets to the Arabia and European countries. There are evidences about the string puppets in Andhra Pradesh during 12th century AD Professor T. Danapa assessed that Mr. Kishtapa son of Bommalata Virapa of Siddhala Gata area of Kolaru Mandalan, Bommalata Kalaya of Page 86 hum Humpai Visianagara Bomalata Virapa of Udayagiri area of Nellore Sima and Bomalata Sadeja of Lapakshi area of Anantapur Mandalam are the contemporaries during 16th century AD. The performances of the string puppets can be seen in Kerala, Karnataka, and Rajasthan in India even today. The string puppets can be seen in a good shape with the height of one foot and with beautiful appearance and with ornaments according to the characters, see photo number 72. The historical stories and adventurous stories to a large extent are performed with these string puppets. Mandechalu or Mandagolalu of Andhra Pradesh who performs the Katamaraju stories for the Yodava community also used the wood puppet with a size of one foot, see photo number 59. But they don't use the strings or cloths. And moreover, they perform during the daytime. They don't use screen or any particular stage. They are the storytellers but their performance deliver the dramatic styles with dialogue and conversation. They use the dolls, wood dolls, to show them to the audience suitable to the event. This is called as mandecular katha. This can be seen in the Nalgonda, Warangal and Karamnaga districts of Andhra Pradesh different communities of people owned this puppet show as a profession in South India. Marathas came from Maharashtra and settled in Andhra Pradesh and Karnataka. They are called as A or Kalekya or Kilakyata Jati people in Kannada. They are referred to as Kilakyata in Tainal Nadu. Urujangalu from Karnataka are also engaged in the puppet show performances. Katubulu and Kutadis from Bombay, Miso borders used to perform the puppet shows. This Kutadis who perform the puppets are there in Madurai and Tanjavore of Tamil Nadu. The Belijas in Bellary, the Eat Bondalis in Vizag and the Stray Gola families in Godavari Delta area have followed the tradition. There, there are so many families of puppeteers throughout Andhra Pradesh, concentrating more in Kakanada, Madhava Patnam, near. Page 87. Kotapa Konda, Nimala Kunta of Anantapur district, Kudapa, Visakhapatnam and Srikalam districts. They, however, do not have any permanent residence and they are moving from place to place, like nomadics. Therefore they are said to be as mobile theatre artists.
However, some people from other communities when originally performed the puppet shows later settled down and involved in agriculture earning as the profession. They are mostly belonging to Maratha groups from Andhra Pradesh are leaving the profession of puppet show performances. 3. The Puppeteers of Andhra Pradesh Main group of puppeteers now in Andhra Pradesh is our Maratha. The remaining are the part-timers and they take this profession as secondary activity. There are subcasts in the Maratha community. Jyothifa Maratha, Daji, Bandajiri, Ronga Raju, our Maratha, Chhatrapathi Shivaji Maratha are the main branches of Marathas. Our Marathas are called as Buddha Bukla in some areas of Andhra Pradesh. Jyothifa Marathas are a type of hunting class. They go for hunting of pegayans with the help of their cows. Daji, Bandajiri and Rangaraju communities are puppeteers in Marathas. They used to work the coloring the cloths as their semi-profession. These subcasts will not have intermarry system. They marry from their own subcasts. But they are having interfeeding system. Daji, Bandajiri and Ronga Raju communities who are the puppeteers in Marathis follow the traditions both in the profession and in their social life. For groups of puppeteers Sindhi, Vanaras, Kode and Aveti are the deviated groups from Surabi. The Eats, Bondalis and Balijas from Visakhapatnam district, Telugu Galalu and Gumpu Tega from Godavari district are taking this profession as part-time profession. Due to this reason there is no. Page 88. Tradi Traditional methods of puppet show profession adopted fully by the part-timers. They follow the traditions like other Telugu-speaking people both in profession and in the social life. Training The puppeteers provide training to their children beginning with Telugu alphabets and then words. Names of Telugu years, Vamana Satakam, Samarthi Satakam, Norasimha Satakam and Amarakosam are being taught later. They will learn that, they provide the training to play harmonium and mridangam. The selected parts of this texts which times were prepared by themselves, from Ranganadha Ramayanam mixing with morals from Nathai Sastras and Nathai Satakas. The puppeteers give training to their children at the time of performances, probably every puppeteer gives the training to his own children. The children learn this from seven to eight years. Some puppeteers take the responsibility of other children of their community. The leader must gather a group. Dot of six to eight persons for the performance of leather puppet show. For members are essential for the operation of instruments like mridangam, harmonium, dapu or empty tin. Two members are essential in the main process to conduct the underscore performance. It is always better if these two must be one male and one female. They conduct the performance with dialogues, verses and actions too. They give full analysis with meaning for the verses and slokas. Two members are needed to remove the puppets from the screen after completion of the scene and to put in the order on screen. Some troop leaders used to marry two or three wives to meet this type of requirements. They give equal share for the children of all these wives. Some troop leaders keep some. Page 89. Women with them for the performance purpose and meet their physical necessities and daily expenses. 
There is difficulty to gather all the elder persons for the performance and so that they follow the above methods to face the performance problems. Women always used to sing for the female characters and men used to sing for the male characters. The musical measurements add a clarity to the performance. They used to sing mainly Mahana, Bhairavi, Devagandri, Gaula, Nadanamakriya, Todi, Nata, Arabi, Ragupti, Sankrabaranam, Kannada, Kamachi, Atana, Kampoji, Mukari, Danyasi, Malakos, Bilhari, Kalyani, Mayamalava Gaula, Asaveri, Sivaranjani, Valaja, Shyam, Madhyamavathi, Kofi, Udairagam, Bhagaswari, Sri Ragam, etc. They try to know almost all the above ragas. There will be a difference with the classical methods in the ragas in the range of meters and in the gamakas in these puppet show performances. In the case of adventurous events like Hanuman crossing the sea they sing Nata Raga and Bhairava Ragas, in the events of anger they sing Sri Ragam and Mohana Ragam, when the scene is in the pleasant and calm sequences they sing Kalyani Ragam. There is a proverb in the performances on behavior of performers that Targudu Takavati Sivaranjani Ragam, Targudu Ekuvaiti Mohana Ragam Vasthandi. This means, if they were not satisfied with the quantity of wine the Sivaranjani Ragam comes from the tongues of the performers. If they are satisfied more than enough with the wine the Mahana Ragam comes from the tongues of the performers. They perform the show daily nearly three to six hours. If they want to conclude the show, they remove or omit the positions of some small characters or they cut down the story and then conclude. The six hours performance is a burden some in the villages. So they arrange the performances in alternative days in the villages. They perform the complete. Page 90. Ramay Ramayana. In the performances. They take 10 performances to complete Mahabharata, 10 performances for Ramayana and 3 performances for the Bhagavatam. They complete one event for a day. They perform in the nights only. So, they used to utilize the day timings to meet their other requirements like to do repair works to puppets, cattle feeding, and goats feeding or they use to gather the grass for their animals. If they move themselves for the performance without any invitation, they used to ask the people of that village for the financial help in the shape of donations. For the purpose they go begging for money and grain from the villagers during the daytime. If the villagers invite them, they come forward for a fixed amount without having much rigidity over the amount. Nearly they earn two to five hundred rupees for a day. In olden days they carry their belongings including puppets on donkeys, or on horses or on cows from village to village. Some of them are having carts and they carry their belongings through the carts. As soon as they reach the village, the troop leader search for donors for performance. Each troop may have 50 to 100 puppets. This is their main property. They share these puppets among their sons during their separation from the main family. They won't give any puppet to their daughters as dowry during their marriages. They divide their puppets equally as their property between their sons. It can also be seen the selling or buying of the puppets in large quantity. If anyone is having small quantity of puppets, that performer will join with another small troop for share in the performances. Inscriptions and Donated Lands I.e. Enams are there in the name of their profession. 
There are evidences still now such types of lands in the name of some characters of the performances. There was a Ketigadimanyam in regular Kunta and in Bodiganidodi village near Bukharaya Samudram of Anantapur district. It is told that they are now in disputes. Ketigadu is a buffoon character in page 91. Their performance, and they use this character to express their opinion about the current society. In another village of Korapadu of Ananthapa district, there is a Ketigani Manyam. One puppet show troop leader helped in catching the Sivangulu, Hinas, for the Murutla king Chauti Reddy and he got ten aces of land as Ketigadi Manyam along with Ketigadi statue. The Navab of Colonel gave a Ketigadi Manyam to some troop leader. It is said that this manyam also in disputes. The children of the Maratha puppeteers are following the footprints of their forefathers. They are following the fully traditional methods of their profession and they are coming from generation to generation as puppeteers and it can be said that they are protecting the puppeteering. The puppeteers can be appreciated in their role as artists and even the children of puppeteers also serving to the theatre a lot. It may be a surprise to say that the impression of their professional experience can be seen in their talks, movements, conversations etc. So many persons entered directly into the theatre arts through the puppet theatre. One of great man from the puppeteers created a revolution in the theatre and named it as Surabi. He brought so many artists into the theatre and they gained a good name in the theatre arts. Surabi company worked a lot to the Telugu theatre and sent so many artists to the films at the early stages of the Telugu films. 2.4 The traditional and social life of puppeteers. Society includes good relations in between the male and female, castes, religions, regions and countries. It expands the public relations in every mode of life. To promote the good health and for good life some human activities, customs and traditions were introduced like this to avoid some in. Page 92. Human activities and to promote the public relations some taboos were introduced by the society itself, when and where the necessity arises in the family life as well as in the society. India is a country of multicultured and multilingual. Each language area has number of castes. Each caste is having a separate identity in the society. In every part of Landaya people are celebrating important events of their life as a ritual. These can be called as life cycle rituals. Birthday celebrations, puberty ceremonies, marriage functions, and death ceremonies etc. are some of the life cycle events. The celebrations in this community at the time of birth is common like any others. Thus birthday celebrations or birth celebrations play a very important role in the life of baby-born women of our Marathi community like other downtrodden communities and backward communities of Andhra Pradesh. It shows the social prestige to the family members and gives mental tonic to the delivered woman. Puberty ceremony is another important and traditional celebration among these people like others. The whole function will be celebrated at parents' house. This is also an important occasion in their families. The eminent anthropologist J.W. Riley stated that death like birth or marriage is universally regarded as a society significant event, set off by ritual and supported by institutions. Through this we can say that the death is included in the life cycle rituals. Death is the last of life crisis for individual. 
Every society has evolved some methods for coping with the death of its individual member and every person lives with. Pa Page 93. Awareness of his own death. So death is the final rite de passage. The Pinda Prathanam can be observed with the elder son of the dead person and it will be kept near Dimpudu Kalam site. The remaining procedure, they follow like other communities. At the last day of the ceremony the Purohita spreads Punyagam and blood relatives will undergo to hair cuttings. They are influenced by some taboos like other communities at the time of death. The world taboo was got into English from Polynesia Tapu. This is a system of religious and social interaction and prohibition, the most famous and fundamental of the social institutions of the world. Tahu sets apart a person, thing, place, name or an action as untouchable, unmentionable unsayable or not to be done for a number of reasons. They follow some beliefs and superstitions in their social life as well as in the professional life. These people believe every movement of their daily, routine, activities are being observed by some spiritual elements. They believe that these spiritual elements must be satisfied. They try to satisfy these elements through some drishti methods. These methods are every related to the beliefs of the people. These drishti methods can be observed during the birth times, naming ceremonies, ceremonies relating to pregnant ladies, puberty ceremonies, marriage functions, and other family ceremonies. Page, page 94. 2.5. Puppet making. The profession of puppet show performance is having the industry type link work i.e. puppet making with that profession and the leader only takes this responsibility. Because the manufacture of puppets is not a small job, though it requires the involvement of the so many persons, the leader, who got more and more experiences about the puppets in the daily use is only having the capacity to take the manufacturing job. He molds the beautification of the puppets according to his knowledge to the pulse of the people. There are many types of puppets in utilization in olden days also. But some got very popularity through appearance. Rod puppets were made in olden days in Andhra Pradesh by sandal wood. Female sandal gil the smoothness and good smell to the puppets. So female sandal was used for making the puppets in olden days. After some time cardboards were used for puppets. These were not durable. Puppets of both sandal wood and cardboards were colored one side and these were replaced by leather puppets. When the leather came into usage for the puppets, the puppeteers used to prepare the puppets themselves. The skins of deer, goat, sheep are using for leather puppets. During the rainy season the skin of the sheep becomes folding. So, the puppets use this sheep skin for unimportant puppets to prevent the inconvenience during the performance. They use the skins of deers and goats for the main characters like Ganesh, Saraswathi, Rama, Krishna, Sita, Lakshmana etc. The skins of donkey 15 and camel 16 are also using for puppets in China, Greece and Turkey. Even though the skins of buffalo and cow are so thick, these are using now for puppets with the help of machines. The puppeteers collect the fresh skin from the market or from another source. The skins should not be applied by the salt. Commonly the leather market people apply the salt to prevent the spoiling of the leathers. Some marketers keep the leather. Leather. Page 95. 
to soak with plank of cassia to bring the leathers. Some marketers keep the leather to soak with plank of cassia to bring the leather into good quality. This type of preserved skins are not useful for puppets. Moreover it is difficult to remove the hairs from the skin. The leather soaked with cassia plank will become reddish. It won't absorb the other colors. The leather will become thick. So the puppeteers dip the skin in medium hot water and then remove the hair from the skin. If the water is too hot the skin becomes folding. So they test it with the skin leg side which is not useful piece for them. When they feel the sufficient hotness of the water they dip the skin three to four times and keep on a separate stone. They keep the skin upside down and remove the hairs. It is easy process to remove the hairs. Then they wash with ordinary water. They keep the skin upward and remove the thin meat layer of the inner side of the skin with a knife after thoroughly washed with soap. After cleaned the skin, they used to dry the skin on a white cloth adjusted as tightly and after fixing it with some needles. Otherwise the skin becomes folded. Next day they do the skin cleanly and do to dry. Then the skin becomes as transparent. They designed the diagram with the pencil on the skin what they want and cut down the waist. They used to design the puppets with poker, knife, forcep, nail cutter, and scissors etc. They make different type of holes around the neck, hands, and legs. These holes will appear as ornaments in the lighting. The entire cutting work of the puppets will be done on the horns of the buffaloes, to prevent the loss of sharpness of the pokers and other equipments. They apply different colors. Nowadays these puppeteers are purchasing all the colors from the shops. In olden days they used to prepare these colors themselves only. Some persons used to apply the juice of the fruits of cactus to puppets as red color and in some areas the boiling bastard teak flowers with salt land dust and apply to puppets as red color. They prepare the black color missing with some. Page 96. Black dust which formed the flames of the oil chimney and neem gum with water. After mixing these two with sufficient water, the solution should be dry up. They use repeatedly to crush it and to mix it with water and then do to dry. Like this way, they use to do six to ten times. Then they prepare it as like as small tablets and use them applying with water when they want. They leave the leather without applying any color, that appear as white color in the light. These colors will be applied with small man-made brushes of sticks. Two types of puppets are their viz, comma, one, single puppets and, two, jointed puppets. Each big puppet is needed two to three skins of goat or deep or sheep. One skin can be utilized for body and another skin can be used for hands, legs etc. in a single puppets. In the jointed puppet one skin can be used for body and another two skins for head, two jointed legs and two jointed hands etc. The legs and hands can be jointed by two pieces and these can be shown for the movement and actions. The whole life of the puppets shows depended upon these jointed legs and hands only. They prepare these puppets in different sizes for different characters and to utilize them in different situations in the show. Such types of characters are too little in number i.e. Hanuman, Ravana, Rama and Lakshmana in Ramayana, Pandavas, Krishna in Mahabharata. They used to prepare five to six sizes Hanuman i.e. small Hanuman, 
monkey like Hanuman and Hanuman Viswayupa like this way. They utilize the small pieces to the puppets of tree, weapons, chariot, posts, baskets, arrows, animals, birds etc. They prepare small size puppets in one and a half feet in size, middle ones four feet in size and the big size with six feet. After shows and in the leisure periods these puppets have been kept safety from fire, water, rats and dogs etc. Puppeteers protect these puppets through some long-sized and page 97 specially made bamboo baskets. They carry puppets in the baskets to the show place. 2.6 Performing Stories of Puppets Shows In olden days the Ramayana was performed through wood puppets in the name of Ramana Matarakam. After some time Mahabharata and Bhagavatha and some historical stories were also introduced in the puppet shows. There was a rumor that Vamana the 16th century Telugu poet, who was considered to be a poet of common people wandering in streets disgusted with his life changed his way of life after seeing the wooden puppet shows of Ramana Matarakam. With that inspiration he began to write the poetry. The puppet show performers of Andhra Pradesh quote the Vamana's famous poem. Iluka Tulu Teki Indaka Udikina Nalupu Nalyapi Goni Telupu Radu Koya Bomanu Teki Katina Palukuna Viswada Birama Vinura Vima 17. The puppeteers quote this poem for their evidence that Vamana had seen the wooden puppet show. The meaning of the poem is that the black skin of bear even if cleared the color of the skin won't be changed and never become white. In that way if we brought the wooden doll and used to beat, it would not be talked. We can understand that this wooden doll represents the wood puppets. It can be guessed that the bear skins were also used for puppets in the olden days. It is believed by the puppeteers that the bear represents Jambavanta, who was in the court of Sagriva and who helped to Rama to brought Sita from imprisonment of Ravana. Page 98 During the beginning days of leather puppets as per my interview it was believed that the only bear skin was used to the puppets for giving the Ramayana performance because the bear represents to Jambavanata who was the devotee of Rama. It was guessed that, after introducing the Mahabharata and Bhagavatha into the puppet shows the bear skin was replaced by animal skins like goat, sheep, deer and donkey etc. to avoid the scarcity of bear skin. It is not easy to get bear skin like other animals, skins. Raising of the necessity of the skins to the puppets and the difficult to get the bear skins may be a major cause for the change of skin using in the leather puppets. Lankadahanam Satisulokana, Lakshmana Mercha, Atikayu Yudam, Angada Rayabaram, Merav. Anna, Ravana Vada, Patala, Homam are stories which are performed in the Ramayana. The performers depend upon Ranganadha Ramayanam, Mola Ramayanam, Sukshma Ramayanam, Mukshagunda Ramayanam for the story of Ramayana. Rama, Lakshmana, Bharata, Satrunyu, Anjaneya, Sagriva, Vali, Jambavanta, Ravana, Monkey Military, Mandaduri, Kaika, Sita, Sumitra, Kosalya, Vipishana, Kumbhakama, Atikaya, Indrajitu, Lankini etc. are the Katakta appeared in the Ramayana. 
And each character is having a puppet Ramayana. Total Ramayana takes at least 10 days for performance. Virata Parvam, Padma Vyuam, Uttaragagrahanam are the main important stories which would be performed in Mahabharata. In the case of Pagavatham the Bhakta Prahada, Savitri and Krishna Leelalu are the important stories which are performed by the puppet show performers. Whereas in the case of historical plays Zinzi, Desingu Raju, Karabantana Katha, Kumara. Page 99. Ramunikatha are the important stories performed in the puppet show. The performers who are in poor condition and who do not have sufficient puppets can convert the puppets of Ramayana into Mahabharata and Bhagavatha and from Mahabharata to Ramayana and Bhagavata as per their convenience. Such characters have similarities in color, wearing the ornaments, and weapons etc. The conversions can be seen in the puppets. Lakshmana as Kana or Arjuna, Vipishana from Ramayana as Dharma Raju in Mahabharata etc. are some examples. Murari Asaviri, Devagandari, Riyagupati, Madhimavathai, Arabi, Ananda Bhairavi are the famous raga sung in the puppet shows. Contexts of Leather Puppet Theatre the study of context in theater can be seen as more sociological and cultural based and relevant to the current events. If we study the context of a folk theater form, it gives so many clues relevant to the same form. The context cannot be seen as same in all the folk forms as equal. It may give different from form to form. These difference depends upon the relation between the performance and the audience, performance and the ritual importance, performance and the local importance or group of invitees or cast who present at the performance and the involved people, the performers, the occasion etc. It is a clear mark in the folk theatre because, some of these folk dramas are formed on the basis of ritual importance and some of them are formed on the entertainment dimensions. The ritual-oriented drama forms cannot be seen in the pure social context and can be seen only in the ritual contexts whereas other forms can be seen in social contexts. Page 100 And as well as in the ritual contexts, but in the presentation of performances the forms can be seen as firmed and the change can be observed in the case of audience i.e. the people in the ritual events can be observed as involvers and in the other occasions, the people can be observed as pure audience i.e. in the entertainment mood. According to Professor Peter Klans the study of context of the particular performance along with the text must be recorded by ethnographical researcher 18 can be taken into consideration for anyone to study in the ethnographically. Puppet theatre is growing parallel to the general theatre in the folk society and nearer to the folk theatre. It is unique in its qualities and in the existence too. Both the theatre and folk theatre elements can be seen in the puppet theatre along with its own qualities. It takes the two types of context i.e., 1, the context of general theatre and, 2, as the contexts of folk theatre along with ritual-oriented performances contexts. The puppeteers are having more contacts in the society than any other art form performers. Puppet theater is having its own audience and its own area for performance. Five to six performing troops can depict the clear picture of the social life of the puppeteers. Further, the performance levels can be observed through the contexts of the puppet shows. The research considering noticed aspects of the performance, types of activities etc., interviewed number of people, artists, for the present study. 
The leather puppeteers of Andhra Pradesh move for their performances beginning with Telugu Ugadi or Sri Rama Navami or in March of every year. During the rainy season and harvest times they used to work at their fields, if they had fields, or work as coolies at the landlord's fields for their livelihood. The leader of the tr troop checks up the puppets and rectifying the lapses like decoloring, torrents, and also undertakes the cleaning of the puppets to be ready for the performances substantially. Page 101 he uses the lean time to planning for the next performances season and prepare his schedule. The woman of that troop i.e. first wife of the leader or the mother of the elder uses to take responsibility about the food and maintenance of the house during these rainy and harvest seasons. She uses to order or to fix the work and duties to the family members, members which include children. The part-time puppeteers are also there but their work plan is different when compared with full-time puppeteers. But almost all the full-time puppeteers commonly do their own work at rainy and harvest seasons. These timings are not suitable for the puppet show performances because the leather puppet show performances are performed in the open air and in their own mobile theaters. They prefer to perform in the villages. Because they collect the donations in the form of food, clothes, grass for their catties, goats, money, grain, and animals etc. The people of the villages who are the audience to these performances encourage these shows during the summer season only, preferably during April to June every year. The performer entering the village during the rainy season or harvest season get nobody's attention for performance that will be tribute. So that contexts for the performance would be the conveniences of the villagers. Naturally the villagers, almost all depend on agriculture. During the rainy season and in the harvest they would be full concentration on agriculture. They do not divert their minds from their work to any attraction. So automatically the puppeteers in a way move according to the psychology of villagers, because they live in villages, they work in the rainy and harvest seasons as coolies in the farmer's fields. If they don't have any fields or houses, they move from village to village to give their performance. These troops were given semi-nomadic status in the government reserved category list. In towns also they won't go for perf performances during rainy. Page 102. Season, because the puppets will shink or become stiff. However, the performance during festivals, special celebrations, Nowadays special arrangements for government functions, Republic Day celebrations, entertainment for foreigners, for research trips, for TV productions etc. are all the seasons or contexts. Except village performance, the audience for these performance are purely floating. There may not be fixed audience except the organizers and the special guests or the dignitaries. In front of these audience there may not be a real traditional performance can be seen. Each context naturally has a different mode at together. The village contexts can be seen similar from village to village. But these are all agricultural based and non-seasons for agricultural works. But whereas in the other performances mentioned above are having quite the basic difference in between them can be classified on the basis of performances, performance stages, performance contexts, performance occasions, stories, audience, timings also. These are all depend upon the taste and possibility of the organizers. Except in the villages, the performances in the other contexts, general contexts, 
may not be a night show, but also in daytime. They arranged the shows in the auditorium, in the halls, theaters, and in the rooms. The puppeteers give the performances on their stage and screen but they use the stage, lighting, and all that. Whereas in the villages they have to give the performances on their stage and screen. They to bring their everything in the villages. This process is quite different from the general and latest contexts. These latest contexts are safer to performers but not to the performances or performance traditions. But the puppeteers get more money and they have to work minimum. There is no fixed times or scheduled timings for the performances of general, general or current contexts. At a time they may ask the performers and the performers also give the performances. When they go to distant places for performing they keep somebody at their page 103. House to look after all of their family works, i.e., animal feeding, the property, if any etc. The troop leader gets the total information during the rainy season for his performances. Accordingly to his plan, he contacts the village leaders and fixes the date for the performance. When he is ready to start, he writes letters to all the village leaders of that area to attract the villagers for the shows to tempt for the performance and to give the clue his whereabout to the villagers. Accordingly to his plan he moves to one village and settles there up to one to two months. Before that also, if they don't have touch with them, one of them goes to the village and meets the village leader or official for the help of their performances. Then they move to that village. If they don't have any invitation form any village, if they thought they will get more and more money and they enter into one village and start the performances. The troop leader probably will be having one cart with bullocks or bisons. They collect the grass from the villagers for their animals. During the summers there is no difficult with the bullocks but whereas in the case of buffaloes, they move towards water pools. One of the troop persons must take care of them during the daytime. Some troops buy she buffaloes for these carts as they can be utilized for double purposes i.e., for milk and cart pulling. So they move with their total luggage in the cart. When they reach the village they meet one key person and depend on him to arrange shows. They collect the sticks, the carpets, the screen, clothes, and other material which are essential for the performance. They take four to five days for starting the performances. In during these four to five days, they assess the position at that village and if they feel that is suitable to them, they start the show. If they feel the situation is negative to them, they go to common people and depend on. Page 104. Them. Them and they create a context for their performance. They start the performance after assessing the climate. Some puppeteers depend on Rajakas. The Rajakas give food and shelter for a brief tenure. The puppeteers select a central place of the village or crossroad convenient to the audience. Probably they arrange their stage on the floor. They avoid the veranda's village court places to attract the people of the village sympathetical grounds that shows the respect towards the village leaders. In some villages, the people invite them for verandas. In each center they perform eight to ten shows. They move to the next center of that village. Like that they change three to ten centers. They repeat their shows in other centers too. If they get more and more offers, i.e., 
people ask from many center at a time, they demand for more money and they create competition in between the audience. They perform Bharata, Bhagavatha and Ramayana at each center. They don't prefer single shows. They perform at least 10 in one center. The earning or the collection depends upon their contexts. Nowadays they are arranging the performance themselves on ticket. They collect minimum 2 to 300 for the performance. Commonly the contexts in the villages will be social ones. Village festivals and drought seasons give more opportunities for the contexts. The puppeteers use this sentiment and they settle. There are beliefs in the villages that if they invite the puppet show performance with Gograhana of Bharata the rains will come. The villages too give the donations in the shape of grains, animal, gross, money, cloth etc. during the performance of the puppeteers, if every performance is owned by the same troop leader. We can observe the change between the performance to performance. This change, change may be an account of the presentation of the performance, presentation of the story, presentation of music styles, music composing, introducing. Page 105. The non-contextual items etc. This variation depends on the feedback of the audience's guesses by the performer through his institution. These changes cannot be given shape without keen observation of the contexts. Then on the texts can be seen as full-pledged. Otherwise they may become lifeless. The theatre helps the text for its liveliness through these contexts only. The successful performance of a troupe is not based on the story only. It is based on the presentation and the presentation is based on the context only. For the successful presentation of the performance every troop leader must introduce something borrowing variations. Then only he will become success. Otherwise he cannot survive himself in the field. These borrowing variations may be in the shape of music instruments, music items like songs, cinema songs, new dance trends, change in the humorous conversations in between the humorous and non-textual characters like Ketigadu and Bangaraka. At the same time the troop leader may drop some old items like old songs, old instruments like Tasha, old lights, and old stage methods etc. At the time of the dropping the old items the troop leader introduces some variations to attract the audience. These variations may be according to the taste of the audience. If the troop leader is giving performance at a city center, he introduces here and there the western songs through humorous characters Ketigadu and Bangaraka. If the audience are educated, the performer may introduce the conversation in English, Telugu and Hindi mixed dialogues in between the characters and the non-textual characters. This is only for the success of his performance and to attract the audience. These variations may get importance according to the context of the performance. He may introduce the variations too according to the importance of the spe specific performance context. They may change the content of the performance according to the context, i.e. The same performance content presented in on performance in A. Page 106 village context or ritual context and another performance in a secular context. These variations may be purposeful and conscious according to his experience. The content and the variations will be chosen for the performance depend on the features of the context. 
Like this way the context helps the performer time to time and it change its role time to time and place to place. Page 107